Fallout is Amazon's new post-nuclear apocalypse dystopian drama. It begins in 1950s Cold War America and then fast forwards two centuries when we see an attack by what can only be described as mutants from above ground on an underground community that has been living in a kind of Eisenhower-type America for the past 200 years. They've been living a kind of mom and apple pie America uh, in this kind of underground world, while above ground things have descended into brutal chaos. There's a very chilling scene in the first episode, in the first few beats, when we see the nuclear bombs dropping onto 1950s America as a children's birthday party goes on in the foreground. And that had particular resonance for me because it reminded me of the intense anxiety that we all experienced in the early 1980s about the fear of a nuclear war. That kind of imagery was very powerful when Margaret Thatcher was the Prime Minister in the UK, Ronald Reagan was the President in the United States, and many of us on the left and liberals, if you want, characterise those two as warmongers. At the same time, we had the Soviet Union, led by a bunch of old men, going into its death agonies, but it was a very dangerous geopolitical situation. So prevalent was the fear of nuclear war in the early 1980s that we were even issued with a booklet called Protect and Survive, giving kind of homespun advice on how to survive a nuclear war. And you could see some of that imagery in Fallout. I thought that was incredibly interesting. If you go back 40 years, you find a movie like When the Wind Blows, or, for example, the BBC drama Threads, which showed the north of England being subjected to nuclear blasts, and this idea of what the hell would we do after the bombs had dropped. I remember one survey when I was at university in the National Student magazine, this is back in the early 1980s, that showed that the majority of young people in Britain fully expected to die in a nuclear war in their own lifetimes. In the early 1980s, I joined some of the huge demonstrations that were organised by the Campaign for Nuclear Disarmament in London. I mean, massive demonstrations of something like a quarter of a million people. And so now here we have fallout, which is echoing those fears once again. What does that tell us about the situation in the world today? And what does it suggest that Zoomers today may share the same fears and anxiety that we boomers had 40 years ago. What a terrible thought it is for Zoomers that they might have something in common with boomers. Now, before I check out, do buy my new book, Jack the Ripper and Abraham Lincoln, published by Troubadour, and out on May the 28th. You can pre-order it on Amazon, Waterstones, WH Smith and other sites. Uh, you may be ordering it and not pre-ordering it by the time you watch this video, but go right ahead. It's a great read. And have I got some news for you about Jack the Ripper.